Welcome viewers. In this video we are going to look about the structure input required for transmission line tower foundation design. So this is a general input which we required for the foundation design. So earlier video we had a discuss about the type 1 foundation design for transmission line tower design philosophies. The link is given in the description. In that we look into that input structure having a three type of inputs. One is the tower leg geometry. Second one is the foundation loads which we are showing here. And the third one is soil input or soil information. So those soil in information we are not going to look into this video because that is a separate part we will be discussing in later according to the type of foundation. Soil input will vary according to the type of foundation which we are deciding or designing because we had discussed earlier video that about there are six type of uh, transmission line towers foundation in that the soil information also vary according to that respective types. So we will be discussing in this video about the common general input record for foundation design. So in that tower leg geometry which we need to calculate two things one is tower slope second one is true length factor so we will be seeing how to find these values second input is the foundation loads in that both the normal condition and wire broken wire conditions we need to have these four kind of forces one is compression or down thrust second one is the tension or uplift third one is longitudinal side thrust fourth one is transverse side thrust so these four forces we need to consider from the structure design from our previous structure model which we had shared already the videos how to make the model and how to apply the loads on the tower and finally how to design the tower from that designed model we are going to extract the force we will be looking into that how to extract that values so let me see that how to develop or how to form the input for tower leg geometry first. This is an excel sheet you can see on the screen which we are going to use for to calculate the tower true length and the, its slope angle. So these are the basic input record to calculate this. So you can see on the screen that 220 kV double circuit transmission line tower design model. So this model we already done with our previous videos. So in our previous video you can refer and we can find how to develop a model in robot sector analysis of 220 kV double circuit transmission line tower. How to calculate the loads based upon the Indian standard BIS and how to those loads and load combinations to be applied on this tower model and finally we we had look uh, in some of videos about the design of this 220 kV transmission line tower, how to finalize the member sizing, how to check the slenderness, how to do the connection. So all those uh, technical videos we already discussed earlier about how to design the structure part. Those videos links are provided in the description you can refer. So we can also measure the dimension from this model. So go to tools click dimension lines select the nodes to calculate the width so the base width is a 6 meter we got a design and the cross arm connection point is 2 meter and the height we need to select this icon vertical height so height from the cross arm fixing point to the base is 16 meter so these are the input we need to feed in our excel sheet. So here you can see in this excel sheet we had feed all the input which we had find from the robot structural model. So 6 meter by 6 meter is a base width in both longitudinal and transverse side as it is a square tower we had designed. And at the cross arm fixing point it is 2 meter by 2 meter. The height we had measured in that robot model is 16 meter. So these are the development dimensions calculations. First we need to calculate the one side using the trigonometry equations like 
a square plus b square and hold to the square root we can able to find out the hypotenuse length so it is a simple formula so we know that in transverse side it is 2 meter that is 6 meter minus 6 meter it's a base width minus the cross arm fixing point is 2 meter so that divided by 2 is a 2 meter it means this width is 2 meter so 2 plus 2 plus 2 is totally 6 meter at the base so in order to find out this length we are making this square root equation similar like in the transverse side also we need to do the same with the width so then finally these are in one way trigonometry but in terms of structure model it is in a, a pyramid shape so we need to find out the true length by applying again the square value of a transverse side to the longitudinal side and the longitudinal side to the transverse side so this is a equation like same like a square root equation so here this part we need to do square root instead of the height which we had derived for two dimensional trigonometry equation now this another one b square in in that b should be the longitudinal direction width so similar like for true length for transverse side also we need to calculate so this to be the longitudinal side two dimensional hypotenuse length square plus the width of transverse side at the base by detecting the top cross arm and divided by 2 so that dimension we need to consider so these are the true length in both the direction and next one we need to find out the slope angle in two dimension so in two dimension we can say that it is a two meter is a again that base width minus the connection width divided by two divided by the total height 16 meter so it's like tan theta equal to opposite of adjacent so that value we are getting 0 0.125 and the data is nothing but it is a tan inverse of 0 0.125 so we are getting the angle in one direction slope angle in one or two dimension we are having data equal to 7.125 as it is a square shape even for the transverse side also we will be getting the same tan data opposite by adjacent as a 2 by 16 meter and 0 0.125 data should be 7.125 so these are the two directional slope and we are going to find out for a prismatic or bramid bramid type of uh, members so here the tower leg slope should be it's nothing but we are doing the square root for square root of squares of l face and t face gradient tan theta so for that we are getting tan theta as 0 0.177 which is a tower slope in terms of converting this into angle tan inverse of the 0 0.177 will be 10.04 degrees so we are just converting this radiant into degree by multiplying it by 180 divided by by pi next finally we need to find out the true length factor so true length factor we need to apply this equation 1 divided by cos theta square so 1 divided by cos theta square for this uh, degree again we are converting into a radian by multiplying by and divided by 180 so thus we can say that we had find out the tower leg slope and the true length factor as 
three one three. So these are the two input we record. Tower slope that is tan theta and tower leg length. So now we need to transfer this input to our foundation calculation. So here tower leg slope tan theta is zero point one seven six one seven seven. So the same thing we can enter here, and the true length factor is one point zero one three. So next we need to. Find out the design foundation loads from the structure model. So you can see in the left hand side is a robot structural model, which we need to extract the foundation forces. And here in the right hand side it is a Excel sheet for foundation load calculations. So in that we are going to enter our input, which is a foundation forces. So select here. So before going, that we need to check this result tab in the bottom whether it is in green color. It should be in green color. If it is not, we need to run the analysis again. So now go to result, click reactions. So in this reaction, select. As we know that load case one not one, one not two, and two not one and two not two are the reliability levels. So you can see here in the load list. So R E L is a reliability load cases. S C C is a security and S C I F is a safety. So only these four load cases are. reliability that is normal condition load cases so here you can see that f of x is a side thrust then a longitudinal l so we need to double click this in order to bring the up maximum and minimum so here 7161 is a maximum absolute value so that we can enter here 7161 so similar for y direction this 7637 So here, negative and positive value we need to consider. So the positive value is uplift. For example, that maximum is five four three one. So that minus value is a downward. We need to consider this four seven one one zero absolute value. So here we no need to mention the. Minus or negative symbol. Only the absolute value we need to enter. So minus means downward. Here the plus means positive. That is uplift. Five four zero three three. so likewise we need to consider we need to find the value other than this uh, four load factors so these are all the security broken wire conditions so 1052 126 and 2052 226 you can see from this we are just excluding that safety load cases 
as we had considered in the reliability which is a maximum when compared to the safety only the security load cases we are considering here start from 2 not 3 2 and 1 not 3 2 1 26 2 not 3 2 2 2 6 so likewise we need to calculate the same so 2 0 4 4 2286 45 49 11 817 so these are the design foundation loads and it should be multiplied with the ultimate factor by 1.2 as per the technical specification or custom recommend or as per the standard codes which you are following this will vary so right now we can consider 1.2 for both the normal condition and broker wear condition under reliability and security respectively so these are the structure input we record to calculate the tower foundation in upcoming videos we will be looking that foundation design with the various requirement of a foundation and the like subsoil parameter foundation geometry analysis or stability check design of chimney and the design of face plate also the design of stop angle we are going to discuss in upcoming videos thank you for your valuable time on watching this video look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you